Hi, today I have a population genetics problem for you, and here is a problem. In a given population, only A and B alleles are present. In the ABO system, there are no individuals with type O blood or with O alleles in this particular population. If 200 people have type A blood, 75 people have type AB blood, and 25 have type B blood, what are the allelic frequencies? in this population, or what is the P and Q frequencies. Uh, if you think that you can solve this problem, you can stop video here and try to uh, solve this problem on your own. You don't need to know any formulas in order to solve this problem. You may use just pure common sense and logic. And then you can run video again and compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So what do we have here? We told that um, we have 200 people with type uh, A blood, so we can put um, type A here, and type A means uh, because we are deployed, uh, humans are deployed, and that means that we have two alleles, and uh, we should have two uh, capital a here and this is going to be 200 people we also have uh, 75 people with a b alleles so we put 75 here and we also have uh, 25 people with uh, type b blood and that means these people have two alleles that is capital B, capital B, 25 persons. And maybe you already notice the peculiarities of this problem that we don't have dominant and recessive alleles. All the alleles would be dominant. So, uh, for example, here we have codominant condition when both alleles would be expressed and on the surface of the red blood cell both proteins coded by allele A and coded by allele B would be present and expressed and that makes this um, type of blood AB. So uh, how we're going to solve this problem? As you see, um, we have 200 people with uh, uh, capital A and capital A and that means that um, this particular uh, people have two alleles and we have 200 people and 200 people would have 400 alleles of the type A and we have 75 people with uh, two alleles AB and that means that these 75 people have 100 50 alleles and we have 25 people with BB alleles and that means that these 25 people have 50 alleles of the type B. Now we have to divide uh, uh, this uh, group in the middle and as you see uh, this group have 150 alleles half of them would be uh, a alleles, so we have to transfer 75 alleles of the type A to this group. And here we have to transfer 75 alleles of the type B to the group uh, B. So here we would have total number uh, 475 alleles of the type A. And here we would have uh, 125 alleles of the type B. So now is the last step. We have to add uh, or sum these two types of alleles. So we are going to add 475 plus 125 and we are going to have altogether 600 alleles. And now we have to calculate 
frequency by dividing, uh, for example, 475 by 600 and we are going to get 0 0.79 and we also have to divide 125 by 600 and we are going to get here 0 0.21 we may also represent this information uh, in the percentage so in order to do this we have to move uh, this uh, point to two decimal places to the right and we are going to get here 79 percent and here we are going to get 21 percent so if we add these two numbers we are going to get 100 percent uh, so both answers would be correct we can say 0.79 frequencies or 79 percent or 0.21 or 21 percent so any answer would be correct because p plus q always equals to 1 and 1 equals to 100 percent so here is the frequency of the allele a and here is the frequency of the allele b so this is all for today thank you for your attention i hope you were able to solve this problem correctly on your own please subscribe to my new videos that i post almost every day goodbye